Y'all, so I want to come on really quickly to tell y'all about this lifesaver of a <laughs> of a gadget that I'm holding right here for my puppy. And he's laying here right now so relieved, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, So my baby is one years old. He is a sheep poo. I just finished grooming him. <laughs> and um, my puppy, first of all, he's always always for the past few months have just nibbled on his paws just constantly nibble nibble with aggravation right i'm sorry that he's laying like this he's always nibbled on his paws and look how calm he is right now because he just finished getting the spa treatment basically so um <laughs> so he just got groomed today no he isn't sedated with anything he's just so relieved um Every time I groom my puppy, I always, always, and I hate to say this, I always neglected his paws, you know, like special attention to his paws. I just gave him a bath, um, you know, blow dry him the whole nine yards, even cut his toenails. But what I never did was focus on his paws, the pads of his paws. And I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, I never really trimmed the pads. Like, I just, you know, it was just so, the crevices were just so teeny tiny that I was just afraid. Like, every time I would even touch him, honestly, on the paws, he would just cut up so bad. And, y'all, I found out why. My baby was growing a fungus in between his paws. Um, and this little gadget right here helped me get all of the hair in between his paws and let me show you how clean it is this is his paws now i'm able to literally and look it's just i still have to um you know give him another um wash on his paws and just give him something to relieve just how dry it is but look at his paws now he literally had hair stuffed up in here just stuff all of this was just hair and it was all different colors, like, you know, the the hair was like brown and it was kind of crusty. And I'm assuming it was a fungus starting to grow in there. Um, and this is his paws. Now, I would never, ever, ever let it get that bad again. I wish I could have showed you guys the before, but this is the after. I'm about to, being that I cut it and I found all of that nasty, nasty fungus, I'm going to give him a really, really, really good wash and something for the chafing. But he was just so relieved. He literally laid there and just let me just, you know, get all of that from out of there. Y'all, I have never seen my baby's inside of his paws like that. It was always just full of hair now i don't want any of the groomers coming on here telling me yada 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 i know i'm a new pet mom um i've been grooming my dog for a year he's such a good baby um i just never knew why he would constantly constantly bite on his paws i just thought he had anxiety i thought he was just frustrated but the whole time he was just itching like he was just now look at him right now. He's so relieved. He's so relieved. His mommy got all of that hair in between his paws and just cleaned it off. And now I'm about to give him another good wash. Give him um, a massage. Oh my God. But yeah, y'all, this, this little gadget right here, I have it on my Amazon storefront. Go grab it now. Um, it has two settings here and it works so well, I've been sitting here for quite some time doing it. I've charged it. Um, it lasts a really long time. Again, it's two settings. And it cuts like butter. Um, it's pet clippers, but it's this size right here. All right, I'm going to link it in my Amazon storefront, you guys. Go grab it. It's a lifesaver.